Hi everyone, welcome to Vishwa Bloom. So in this video, we'll be looking at logarithms, Maths Techno Class 8, Aim to Challenges. So let's begin with the challenges questions. So the first question, first uh, in that first question, show that log 10800 is equal to 4 log 2 plus 3 log 3 plus 2 log 5. Okay, now how do we show this? First, we have to show this as this. Okay, that is the question. Now, how we have to show, I'll tell you in a very, very simple way. First, take this number 10800. So, I'm taking it to the right side here and I'm going to take the LCM for this. So, 5 2 1 6 0. Then, with 5 again, 4 32. Then with 3 you can do it 144 and then 3 again 48, 2 table 24, 2 table 12, again 2 6 and 3 2, sorry there is no space so 3 2s and 2 1s, correct so now also see that what is the uh, you know prime factorization of 10800 we have to see. So what is the prime factorization just uh, look at it properly you will get it as 2 power 4 into 3 cube into 5 square. Now check it right 2 to 5s are there 3 3s are there and 4 2s are there correct. Now what I am going to do, instead of 10800 in the question, I am just going to put all this value there. Okay, so it is going to be log 2 power 4 into 3 cube into 5 square. Correct. Now what I am going to do is, I am going to write it separately. Like this log can be put for all this separately, right? That is the uh, one of, one of, that is one of the law which we studied. So you all remember it, I am hoping. So let's just do that. So log 2 power 4 multiplied. By, so when it is multiplication, it will become addition. You should remember the law, okay? I'll tell the law. The law, it is log A, M and P to the base A. What it is? Log M to the base A plus log N to the base A plus log p to the base a we studied this right so you shouldn't forget this okay so that is what we are applying here that law you just write it in a bracket whatever i have written previously because it will be useful for you right now right so let's continue with the problem now so plus log 3 cube plus log 5 square sorry now, as you all know, you should remember this law also, right? Now, this law, it is log m power n is equal to n log m. So, that law, again, you just write it if you want, make a note of it, is equal to n log m. You remember this law also, right? Power formula. So, you should remember all the law. Okay, just learn it. So that, that also you just write it in the bracket because we are going to apply that. Now this 4 is going to come here on basis of that law, right? So 4 log 2 plus 3 log 3 plus 2 log 5. So is it that the same? Is bo Are both things the same? Yes, so we have shown it. So you can just write hence proved or hence shown or verified whatever it is. Okay. So now we'll move at, uh, move forward and look at the next second question. Now here also same thing. Show that question. It is log 243 divided by 343 is equal to 5 log 3 minus 3 log 7. Now same thing we are going to do here as well, right? So first what you'll do, you will find out the prime factorization of 243. What it is? It is 3 power 5. Now what is the prime factorization of 343? It is 7 cube. Now we know this, just we are going to put those values here. Okay, so let me put the values. Now these values, how do you, how you will get? Just by doing this kind of prime factorization. Right, same thing we are going to do for the 
for both of the numbers right okay now 243 as i told 3 power 5 you will write that divided by uh, 3 uh, 343 is 7 cube so just write it and close the bracket now again we have to remember the laws okay now the second law which was there it was log a power uh, log a power m sorry m by n to the base a is nothing but log m to the base a minus log n to the base a the so same thing we're going to apply here right so what i'm going to do here is for you to write that uh, you know identity law in, in bracket now log 3 power 5 minus log 7 cube am i correct so using that law i have done this so write the law next to it okay now same once again you have to remember this law that is log m power n is equal to n log m remember this write this law again next to that okay because we are going to apply that as well so this 5 is going to come in front on basis of that law so 5 log 3 minus same thing here 3 log 7 am i correct so this is done now both are the same so this is also verified so let's look at the next question now for a third one we are going to use a law okay this law is log m to the base a is equal to log m to the base b divided by log a to the base b see here we don't find any b but in this in the uh, rhs we are able to see two bases here that b's can be anything okay so any number it can be now if it is in this form you can simply make it this form suppose and now if i have uh, log a to the base 10 divided by log 2 to the base 10 here b is same right so what we are going to do just take it take it as log a to the base 2 that's it so same thing the converse also works actually so it is also there so write that identity next to it and we are going to apply that there okay so let's do this so now log a to the base b will be log a by log b here base we are not taking anything because we are uh, assume it need to be one okay when it is the same no need of considering it right okay next into log b divided by log c into log c divided by log b now just cancel out log b log b will get cancelled log c log c will get cancelled and and what is left out sorry here it is a not b so please note question is written wrong so it is log c to the base a so log a and log a also will get cancelled so now what is left out only one so now both are same right so it is shown so hence we have proved it next question we'll see now for fourth one what we are you have to remember one law so the fourth one question is log x to the base a into log y to the base b is equal to log x to the base b log y to the, to the base a we have to show this so for this we have to see the law that is log m to the base a is equal to log m to the base b multiplied by log b to the base a so here b both are same and it can be anything we, we can assume for this okay so the, now if i have log x to the base a what i'm going to do log x and a will be here b should be there right i'm let it be one we can assume it to be one and here the base is a and here it is one okay so this can be written in this way now this log x to the base a can be written like this understood so in a similar way we are going to write these two and we are going to show this okay write this law next in the, in the bracket this law we are going to write okay so let's do this problem quickly on the screen so i hope you understood that law so b we are going to take something like one and i have i have taken right same thing okay so let's solve what is the law 
log x to the base 1 dot multiplied by log a to the sorry log 1 to the base a so here this ones and both are same right so you should remember that again for this also for this also we are going to do the same thing what we are going to do log y to the base 1 and log 1 to the base b now this is the expanded right this is the expanded form which we have used using that uh, law now what I am going to do is now the converse of the same law is also a correct only it, it is also right the converse is also true now what is the converse log m to the base b multiplied by log b to the base a is nothing but log m to the base a understood the converse now here this b and b if it is the same you can simply write it as log m to the base a now what i am going to do is one here and one here it is same right i am going to join these two that means it is going to be log x to the base b now that is what we wanted right so that is what i have done so what i have done generally here is this one and this one if they are the same if they are if the number is the same we can just multiply it like we can write it in this form so what i'm going to write log x to the base b this base we have to going to use and this x understood now for this also here one and here one both are the same so here log y to the base a i'm going to apply understood so that is what we are going to do write this law next so considering this and this both ones are the same so log x to the base b multiplied by log y to the base a understood so that is what we have to show and we have shown it i hope you understood till here so that is verified So from question number 2 we will see in the next video. Do like, share and subscribe to Vishwa Blooms. Keep supporting Vishwa Blooms and click on the bell icon. Thanks for watching our video. Bye bye.